Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do the assignment for absolute values in Excel. And so this assignment, I, I already went ahead and created a spreadsheet. And what your spreadsheet is going to need, uh, you can do anything that you want to do, but what your spreadsheet is going to need, it's going to need um, uh, several values here of categories uh, with related amounts and a total at the bottom. Okay, so what I did was I set up, a, I did an ice cream survey where people said uh, which ice creams that they liked and um, then I have the total of uh, people that were surveyed. Okay, so to begin with what we're going to do, once, once you get this set up, um, we're going to uh, calculate the percent column. Okay, so the percent column is an equation, so you're going to go ahead and start out in, with an equal sign in Excel. Then you're going to do the uh, the ratio. Okay, so ratio is division, so we're going to have uh, five people that like chocolate divided by the total amount will give you the percentage of chocolate uh, likers uh, out of the total. So that's actually 10.4%. Uh, if your percentage is a decimal, what you can do is you can go up to um, the percent sign here and the number uh, on the ribbon, the number uh, grouping, and you can select percent and that, that'll change it to percent. If you want to get more decimal points out of your percent, then you need to do the increase, decrease decimal uh, in that same number grouping on the ribbon. Okay, and so we've got that set up. So that equation is set. So we see it's C6, C6, which is 5, divided by C15. Okay, and so what we can do is we can take that. Uh, normally we would use the autofill handle and fill that, uh, fill that equation down, that equation that we made down to all the rest of the flavors. Uh, but we see that that gives us an error. The error is caused by, uh, as you use the fill handle, what it does is it automatically keeps the relationship uh, of, from row to row. So as we go down, we see this one here. It did use the four. It went down a row, just like we drug, drug it down a row. But then also for the total, it also drug that down a row. So it's using uh, C16, which it shouldn't be using. So we can go in by hand and change each one of these, but that's what the absolute value does for us. Okay, so right now with Excel's uh, default setting is using what's called relational value. So it relates row to row as we drag the fill handle down. To set up an absolute value, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the values in these cells. We're going to go back to our original formula. Okay, and we are going to you can go up to the formula bar here or you can uh, click and get into the cell values as well and we're going to select the C15 which happens to be the total uh, cell down here so that's the one we want to stay absolute or the one we want to stay the same and what we can do is we can hit our F4 key up on top of our keyboard here and it'll add dollar signs the dollar sign ahead of the uh, the column here C dollar sign C makes this column absolute so even if we drag this it's gonna keep that absolute it's not gonna change it in our formula it also makes 15 which is the row down here absolute okay in this in this uh, example we really only need the row to be absolute because we're just dragging down we're not dragging across but well, and we, you can see as you hit F4 more, it'll actually toggle through the different settings of dollar signs. Okay, so we want our row 15 be absolute, just like that. Hit Enter to get out of the equation, and then we can drag down, and it'll keep that absolute. So we go down to the next one. Like we did before, we see it does drag down to 4, which is good, to C7, 
uh, our strawberry, but then it leaves the total uh, cell reference the same. So that's exactly what we want. And uh, that's how you do this assignment. So go ahead, once you get this done, go ahead and hit save and submit it into the, uh, the assignment link on this assignment uh, submittal link. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.